Hi, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I want to show you how I make my tomato salad. There's so many different methods that you can do to make this, but this is my version of how I make it. So let's get so busy I making got it. A bunch of these different colored variety cherry tomatoes. You can use any kind of cherry tomato you want. You can even use regular tomatoes. So what I do is I cut them in half, throw them in the bowl. Just makes a prettier presentation when you use the different colors, I think. And I love cherry tomatoes. I munch on them all the time. If I get hungry, I grab a couple cherry tomatoes. I like doing it the long way. There's people that cut them in half. You cut them any way you want. Just get them cut. Okay, I finally got those all cut up. I am going to sprinkle some sea salt on here. I'm going to take a couple cloves of fresh garlic, put them in my Tupperware garlic press, stick them both in there, and then you squeeze it out. It comes out pretty. Sorry about making that noise. Then to clean it out, you just lift that up. I don't want that part in there, but I will take the rest of this. Stir that around. Now these are pickling cucumbers. I'm going to cut the ends off. In the sink I have a scrap bowl. Kind of cut them down into bite sized pieces. Gives a nice crunch texture to it. I think one is good enough for right now because it is a tomato salad, not a cucumber one. Let's grab some of these sweet peppers. I'm going to throw a couple of those in there for color too. And I just um, slice them thin and keep them in the ring shape. Up until all I right, see the so now I got those all chopped up and in the bowl. Now you want to add some red onion. And with this, you're going to want to cut real thin slices like this. And you put them in the salad. Break them up a little. That should be enough. I am going to cut them up just a little, cut them in half, they're too long. Okay, I got the red onion all chopped up. I did cut it in half because they were too big. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the white onion too. Same way. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more of the sea salt. And this time I'm going to add some cracked pepper. Now you can add black olives to this. You can add whatever you like. But this is how I do my tomato salad. Doesn't that look pretty? 
stir it up a little. It smells so good. Now for the adding the herbs. I keep uh, parsley and basil, and I keep pretty ones out so you can top it, you know. So for the basil, I'm going to pile my basil. These have all been washed and cleaned. Yeah, I like that one. I always roll it up. And then I slice it. Now I know it's best to do basil with um, just pulling apart, but I want that beautiful cut to it. Take the stems out. Okay, basil's in. Now I have some parsley. Fresh flat leaf parsley because flat leaf parsley has more flavor than the curly parsley. Kind of bunch it together and chop it up. Okay. All right. That's all we need for the seasoning. I'm put washing. They look yummy. I take a little bit of red crushed pepper and I just sprinkle it through here just a little bit. It gives a lot of flavor. And then I'm going to add Robusto Italian dressing to mine. Not a whole lot, just enough to cover, coat. because the tomatoes and everything is going to release their juices and make more of a dressing. Stir it up good. And that's it. Take a little bite. Perfect. And that's how I make my tomato salad. Isn't it pretty? And then so people know what herbs are in there, I take my parsley, a pretty leaf, and set it in there. And then I'll take a bay leaf, basil leaf and set it in there. So that way there they know what herbs right, are in there. Alright, now I'm going to do a taste test for you. So good. If you get a chance to make this, I hope you do. I want a little bit of everything on a bite. Oh my goodness, it's so good. I just love how the salad turns out. Every time I make it, it always tastes amazing. I want to thank you for stopping by. As always, big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.